and it's going to be a Laguna Blue unboxing from Monster High G3. I cannot believe I'm holding this doll in my hands right now. Um, she is very exciting to me. She is pretty much the only G3 doll who I've really connected with. Um, I'd say that Laguna and um, Cleo are my two favourites from this generation. I'm very excited to be reviewing her, unboxing her today, and I'll be doing a little bit of a clothing comparison, and I might do a body comparison as well. Um, I can see some dolls behind me who might be a fun comparison, but I'll see if I even feel like it's relevant, because um, I'm sure that there's going to be some more informative videos on the internet where they have like them all laid out, and I'm not going to have that um, kind of... B frame or whatever it's called. Um, B real? Yeah. Um, but here we go. This is Laguna Blue from G3. This is her wave one slash signature kind of doll. Um, controversial because she's pink. Um, I actually like her. Um, even though she's pink, I still like her. And um, if you're a G3 hater, by the way, um, like, you know, each their own. Um, you don't have to watch this video then. I have videos up on my channel if you're a G1 stan. Um, and if you're a G1 stan and you have an extra G1 Laguna, send her my way because she is my, like, oh, I've been looking for G1 Laguna for ages. Um, a crew production, send her my way. But um, in Australia, we never really got the crew productions. They never came down here and I was really sad. But luckily we did get G3, so it's better than nothing. Um, I'm just going to show you the front of the box. So we kind of have this symmetrical box design um, with this like kind of rainbowy pastel denim background on one side and then on this side there's like a panel going down that's all black and this says on the side of it it says the high and it's kind of got this holographic kind of thing and then there is a picture here of Laguna, Claudine and Frankie. It says Laguna Blue and I really like the font they chose here. Um, the art style of this new generation is very controversial um, and let me just Sorry, I was just checking something on my phone. Um, with this new art style, it's very controversial, and honestly, I don't love it. Um, I prefer the old art style, um, but also um, there are other art styles that they could have chosen that would have been new art styles that I would have preferred over this one. This just doesn't really resonate with me, but maybe you like it a lot and it resonates with you each to their own. Um, the art style isn't my favourite, but I'm not going to cry about it. It's whatever, you know. Um, I didn't buy the doll for the packaging. So when you work your way around, you've got the doll at the front, you've got the accessories, and I'll go through each of the doll pieces and accessory pieces um, once I remove the plastic so that I don't have glare over the whole thing. But then you have that little monster high, the picture, the name of the doll, and then down the side we have all these emblems, which are really cool because they're kind of in a rainbow, you know, it goes from like pink to peaches to orange to yellow to green to blue and I really like that gradient and it's all these little symbols that are kind of representative of Laguna which I think is really cute and I like all of the details on here um, and I like all like the symbols that represent her. On the back we have um, a little picture of like Monster High like kind of like a locker scene a hallway scene we've got Laguna over here um, wearing a not entirely accurate but closer than a lot of the other characters outfit um there are some similarities there are some differences but then you know there are some similarities I wish they'd gone with these shorts over the shorts that they ended up giving her but um oh well I would have left her in this outfit I like the outfit actually that she's wearing in this picture more than what she ended up being wearing you'll see in a bit that I'm not a big fan of neons anyway in the back of the scene we've got monster high here we've got some like um lockers and then we've got some um, pictures of the other main ghouls in the lineup. So um, everyone that's on the back of the box right now is now available in Australian stores at Kmart and Big W. That's me saying that as of today, which is October the, what day is it? I think it's like the 16th or 17th today. It's Monday. Um, these guys are all fresh out right now. Um, there's Laguna, um, Cleo, Frankie, Draculaura and Claudine and they're available um, online and then some stores are starting to get them in. They're just trickling in now. Um, down the bottom here we have another little like bio kind of thing. It says Laguna Blue and then you have like a kind of profile. So it says monster type, splashtastic sea monster, monster must have shell foam and kelp crisps which are included. Um, monster pet, Neptuna um, and that's all the information. You only get those little three fun facts. The rest of that is just the same thing written in other languages. This is what the bottom of the box looks like. The side of the box on this side, as you like spin it around, um, has Monster High. This is not in holographic the way that the front piece is. This is just printed. 
and then that's the front of the box again. The top is just plain clear and just, yeah, that's the whole box. I'm going to now unbox her and I'm very, very excited to get my hands on her. I haven't ever unboxed a Monster High doll from scratch before. All the Monster High dolls that you see behind me, I bought them all secondhand. I was like not um, a collector at the time that they came out because I was a child and um, I was like kind of older, but like I didn't like get into, I don't know, it was weird. Um, I'm not going to talk about it now, it's like a whole thing. Um, I'm really excited to get my hands on Laguna. I was kind of having a really bad day, not bad day, but like I've been going through a bit of a difficult time in my life recently. Um, obviously as you guys know, if you watch my videos, I'm like going through a breakup right now. Um, and it was a very like amicable, positive breakup, but it, it is very difficult for me right now to like, you know, with all the feelings and stuff of a breakup, even though it was like a friendly breakup and when we don't hold, like, it's not like we like had a big like grr 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 or something, but like it's still hard. Um, and I just was having a really difficult day with that today. And, um, it was really nice to like go and find Laguna on today. Just like she was, she was sent to me from the, from the Mattel gods. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way that I can open this that is least destructive to the box because I'd like to preserve as much as I can so that I can see what my options are as much as I can. Okay, so I've, I've just cut tape from the top and it seems that I can just pop out sides now without ripping the cardboard. This is working out really easily. So there are these tabs on the side and I've just popped them out. They're not like taped in. Is this going to just open up, please? Oh my gosh, that was so easy. That was a pleasure to open. Now I have purchased anything from Mattel in years, honestly. I've actually been on a bit of an MGA kick, which is surprising. I don't like particularly favor one or the other. Like they're both corporate giants to me, like I don't care. Um, but you know, brats are things that I've been purchasing recently and um, so is Rainbow High stuff. So I haven't really bought from Mattel in ages. I have two dolls from Mattel, obviously my Mycene doll and my made to move Barbie girl over there. Um, but they're both like from ages ago, you know, my scene is very much like 2000s and the made to move girl is from like the 2010s. Um, okay, let's get into her stuff first and then I'll take it out. So we have the doll here and then we have the actual stuff here. So I'm going to talk you through the stuff and I'll pull it out piece by piece. First of all, we have the pair of sunglasses, really cute translucent blue sunglasses. And they kind of have like this sea monster kind of inspired frame there. Really cute. Next we have this hydro flask because she's a bit of a visco gal. This has a bit of a rubbery texture almost. Um, I was really excited about this little water bottle when I first saw it. I thought it was so cute. As you can tell, I also use a hydro flask and this is like her hydro flask. And it has a bit of a whale tail at the top and I really like this bumpy texture on the side and it actually opens. Oh, I'm so satisfied with that. That's such a cute piece. Love her water bottle. That's like one of my favorite accessories she comes with. Next, we've got some kelp crisps, which I'm imagining are like seaweed chips. It just looks like this. They've got a design on both sides. Oh, I love that this generation of Monster High comes with so much like random food accessories. It's really fun. Um, next, there's like, I guess this is Monster High's take on fish food. I don't know. I don't really know what pop, like if this is a popular American snack and I'm like, not taking the like reference because I'm like not eating classic American snacks, but yes, this is not going to focus, but that is original Neptuna on the packaging, which is a cute little reference. And then the design goes all the way around, but on the back it is plain. And then on this side is a little tab so that the doll can hold that one. The other ones don't have like a particular like handle. Also, this is like quite heavy. Like this is a filled piece of plastic. It's got a bit of weight to it. It's like it's a little piece. It's cute. Anyway. Um, okay. That's all the like little loose accessories. Laguna's really cool in that she comes with a whole little outfit, like a whole separate swimsuit, which I really appreciate. I feel like most of them come with like one extra piece. That's like very decent. For example, um, doesn't Draculaura come with a hat or am I making that up in my head? Anyway, Laguna's cool because she comes with a whole swimsuit, which is cute. So here's what the swimsuit looks like. It is a mermaid print swimsuit in a kind of darker teal. Like it's not green, but it's not blue. It's like a dark, dark teal. And then it has an orange fringe hem on the top and the legs or the neckline and the top. And then it's a ribbon halter top with an open back. Now I don't actually like this 
in its design aspect very much. I think that, oh, this is the, oh my gosh, I'm going to use this. It's a little Monster High hanger, like a clothes hanger. Cute. Um, yeah, I just don't really like the colours of this. I feel like the green and the orange really clashes, and the orange doesn't really match any of the colours referenced from the rest of the doll. Like, where does this orange tie into? I just feel like the colour scheme of this is very random, and you'll see that, although I like this doll, um, her colour scheme is so random to me. Like, it does not make much sense to me at all. Um, how am I going to get this out? I actually don't know how to unbox a doll. So confused. Um, so yeah, how I came to get her was I saw that she was available and so I went to multiple different stores and I really took my time to find her because some stores um, only had clear but I knew that the one that resonated with the, me the most from G3, I knew it was Laguna for me. I just knew I had to get my hands on Laguna. Um, but my problem with Laguna was the first shop that I went to, Laguna, there was only one doll of her there and she was like a little bit wonky. She wasn't bad, but like she just didn't resonate with me. Like, you know, when you connect with a doll, I didn't really connect with Laguna in this form. So I just left Laguna at the store and it was kind of a risk because I was like, what if I never find another Laguna or what if I find more Lagunas later today and this is as good as it gets. But I took the risk and it did pay off because I went to other stores and I found this Laguna, who is stunning to me. So I'm just trying to see if there's anything I can do packaging-wise to, like, open this up more easily. No, okay. I'm just going to have to cut all these ties. Ooh. One, two, three, is that everything? Seven ties? Nope, there's more in there. There's definitely more in there. Seven, eight. Nine. Oh wait, that's an elastic band. I'm not cutting an elastic band. Those elastic bands that you get with dolls, I always try and keep them for as long as I can. Those last longer than a normal, like, Elastic band. Elastic bands perish so quickly, yet for some reason, elastic bands that come in doll packaging, they last like a good 10 years before they start going wonky, so I will be holding on to that. I forgot how many elastic bands I'm up to. I lost count because I was busy cutting this instead. Sorry if anyone else cared. I didn't really care either, so it's alright, we're in this together. Is this an elastic band? Mm, oh well, I, I'm going to cut this one. I'm, I'm going to have to. Oh my gosh, these take so many ties. I wish there was a more efficient way of packaging them because I find this very difficult to remove. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut the tabs on the back of her head. I find these ones on the back of the head there, on the inside, a bit stressful. I know that some people just like snip, 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 but like it's it's so close to her head and like all her hair and I don't want to cut anything like that I shouldn't. I'd rather take my time and make sure that she comes out in one piece. You know what I mean? Um, how are you guys? What did you guys get up to today? I just ran a bunch of errands. Kind of got myself a little bit more prepared for the week. Um, oh, that's satisfying. I kind of like plucked it out of her whole head. Maybe I should pluck it out of her head with a pair of tweezers. Maybe that'll work. Because I don't like the idea that like the other side of the like T-shaped tag is like stuck in the doll's head. So if I can tweeze it out, that'd be really cool. Because then there's nothing left in there. It's going to be hard to grab. I should have gotten pliers. But I don't really have... I have a whole set of pliers and I don't know where they went. Like, I lost them recently. They'll be in my house somewhere. I just don't know where. No, I'm going to have to cut it. I, like, can't get it. I'm fumbling too much. Do you guys have any idea of what you're going to be for Halloween? Um... Let me in the comments because I'm not going to make any more Halloween content this year. If you want to see Halloween content from me, I made quite a bit of Halloween content last year of like costume ideas and stuff. But this year I just have a lot going on and I, I don't have the capacity to make Halloween videos. I might do vlogs of like what I get up to on Halloween, but honestly, I don't think I will. It's just, it's just not going to happen for me this year. I've just got a little bit too much happening. Um, I've been a little bit inactive also because, um... 
due to the breakup, I'm kind of, oh, I'm going to be able to plug this one up. No, I wasn't able to plug it up. Anyway, due to the breakup, I've kind of been a little, a little bit emotional, so I haven't really been feeling like coming on camera as much. Um, so I am sorry about that, but like, not really, because I need to take that time for myself and like, I'll come back eventually. So don't you worry about where I've gone. I'm literally around the corner. Just wait for me and I'll be back. Anyway, I want to pluck this one out. That's the only one that's stuck in her head. You can see the little zip tag thing there. She feels really like sturdy. I actually like the way this doll feels a lot. I want to pluck this out. I want to use my teeth. Don't judge me. I'm going to, I'm going to grab the little tie with my teeth and whip it out that way. Yeah, I got it. Oh, that's so satisfying because now she doesn't have any ties in her head. Her hair is so soft. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. So as you know, I went to a couple of different stores until I found a store that had a Laguna that I thought was beautiful. And what happened was I went to the guy in the store and I was like, hi, I'm looking for this doll. And I was a little worried because I was worried that she wouldn't be like out on the floor yet. Um, And so they went back into like the back of, you know, behind... Check out the back, you know, that out the back. So they went out the back for me and he came back with like the whole box of Lagunas. So there was like a box and there were four Lagunas in there. And he let me have a look through the box and choose which one was my favorite. And as soon as I pulled out this doll, I think she was the second one I pulled out of the box. I immediately knew that she was the one for me. Um, and I looked over the other two dolls that were still left in the box. And I was like, no, no. As soon as I saw her face, this one just like really connected for me. Um, I've lost her shell phone already. She comes with a shell phone and I was like already misplaced it trying to like rip her out of the packaging. Pretty much she comes with a really cute phone. Here it is. I'll show you her phone. So it's like a little eye coffin except it's a shell phone because it's a shell shape and there's like a little star down there and the whole phone case is a shell which is like so 2014 like Tumblr like Victoria's Secret phone cases that are shaped like watermelons. I had like 20 of those. Anyway, um, there's a little handle on the side so that the doll can hold it. And then it's still an eye coffin. So the actual shape is a coffin. And then the actual picture on the um, screen, um, it's got her skullette. It's got like a little heart with scales on it. There's like a little seahorse. It's very representative of Laguna. All the little um, ups, like very much her vibe. Um, and then she also comes with a backpack. Um, this backpack is kind of like a squishy material, um, which is like different to the other stuff. It is got two colors so there's the straps and the handle on the top they're one color and the front has this shell design with this drip coming down and this is pink and it kind of has this faux zip um kind of texture but it doesn't actually zip and it can just open up and you can like pop some actual things in there so you could put her kelp crisps in there that's what i've seen people do online or like you know put her phone in there as well you can't fit that much in there but like you can fit a couple of things and it's cute so um i do like that they came up with that. I think that's a cute bag for her. Although I do prefer her G1 original bag. I still think that this is a fun concept. And then I just want to show you the uh, Laguna's pet really quickly. This is Neptuna. But Neptuna looks very different in this generation to her original one. I know that some people prefer this one. Some people don't like this one. I think that both Neptunas have their own like merit. Like I value them both and I think they're both cute in their own ways. Um, this one's more cutesy. The other one's a little bit more fierce. Um, this one looks a bit more like I think American looks called them a beta fish. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this one is what the new Neptuna looks like. She is pink. She has a like hard plastic body with a squishy kind of, the translucent parts are a little bit more squishy. So she has like this really pretty flowy tail um, that kind of splits down the middle and comes to the front. That, so it kind of like becomes like a bit of a stand for her to stand on. She has two fins, one on each side, like coming out. You can see. She kind of has ears, which are interesting. And I thought that she would look like a... I don't know, she does look like a little bit of like a cub or like a bear vibe. She has pursed lips, she's like this. She's got a bit of like a oh expression and then she has this little fin on the top which is also a little bit squishy. You can see there's a diamond texture. Um, every so often there's like a little bit of a diamond on the fish. And unfortunately, which I'm not sure you'll be able to see, her eyes are pixelated. I have not purchased anything from Mattel, as I mentioned, in quite a few years. Um, my Barbie is from an era before I think pixelation existed. Obviously, my scene was not a pixelated era. This little fish has pixelated eyes. Like, horrendously pixelated. It's, like, noticeable to the point that it, like, 
really downgrades this fish for me. I thought it was a cute design online, but I did not realize how pixelated this fish would be. Also, I am glad that I waited to look at this doll in store because um, there were lagunas that I didn't resonate with. So like, I'm really glad that I waited um, to like go in store and like took the extra effort. Like I did have to travel a little bit to go find Laguna. Um, and I'm glad I did because um, the first Laguna I saw I didn't connect with and like you never know shopping online which doll's going to be sent your way. You could get like one that you just really don't, one that doesn't resonate with you. Anyway, let's talk about actual Laguna now. I've gone through all her accessories and I want to talk about the actual doll and then I'm going to undress her and put her in some new clothes just to see where she can fit. So working our way down from the top, we have her hairdo. It is very soft. I don't know what kind of material this is um, because I am not a doll hair expert. I'm going to guess Saran. You can correct me in the comments. I won't be offended. I don't, I don't know. Um, she, oh, she kind of has a similar hairdo to me. I didn't, I really didn't plan that. She kind of has two chunky front pieces and each one is dyed a different color. So she has a purpley pinky piece and then a teal bluey kind of piece. And then she has the reverse underneath. So she has a blue strap on each side and then her underneath color is purple and that's mirrored in her ponytail so it goes up into a ponytail she has a kind of like sea urchin inspired hairband around her ponytail and then that just like is like a bit of like a hair cuff if that makes sense it doesn't connect connect in the back and then she has two berets at the front and they have two rows of what seems to be like inspired by pearls on them so that's what's holding her little like clips in the front of her um, front hair pieces. I really like this hairstyle. It reminds me of the Bratz Baby's Hair Flare hairstyle and it's like one of my favorites on a doll and obviously it has inspired my own personal style. I literally wore this hairdo today like organically without remembering that I was going to review Baguna. Anyway, working our way into her face, she has this interesting and controversial kind of like scaly texture on her forehead. Some people are removing this with like, you know, a bit of nail polish removal or acetone or whatever. If you don't resonate with those dots, just remove them. But um, I am going to be leaving them on. Mine has quite even eyes, except one eye is slightly smaller than the other. But I felt like this was the most even out of all of them. And regardless of one eye being, like, it, you can't even tell that one eye is smaller than the other. In fact, on camera, it looks like it's vice versa. So maybe it's in my head. Pretty much she's perfect and I resonated with her and I think she's beautiful. Um, she has pink skin and her face... It has like a slight shimmeriness to it. Oh no, no, her whole body does. Okay, so her skin tone is pink and shimmery. Um, she has blue eyebrows. Um, she has brown eyes with hints of green in them. She's wearing blue eyeshadow and she has blue freckles with a corally pink lipstick. Um, she has earrings in that are this blue color. One of them is a fishbone and one of them is a plain stud. I'm assuming like a pearl inspired. And her ears are really unique because they are very much fish or aquatic looking fin kind of ears. Very cool detail and they do stick out more from um, in comparison to G1. So it's a bit more of a statement. I think it gives her a fishy look. Um, I like her, I think Americans call this a puka shell, like a cowrie shell necklace. Um, it's very Visco girl of her and I think it's cute. And then I'm going to work my way into the outfit. I'm not feeling very well, honestly, right now. Um, I don't know if you can tell my energy is pretty low. So after I go through her outfit and undress it. Um, I'm not going to do restyles in this video. I'm going to do that on a separate video when I'm feeling better. Sorry, I'm just like not feeling up to it right now. Um, so I'm not sorry. I shouldn't be sorry for just taking that time for myself. It's fine. Um, she comes wearing a bum bag. It's kind of like a rubbery material. It's not a real bum bag. It's hollow in the back, but it has the design of like maybe like a shark's mouth at the front and then it has this like kind of quilted design it's got a bit of a chomp missing here as though someone's bitten it um it clips in the back and it has this like diamond material like kind of like net mesh design through it um embossed into it it's a stretchy one and it just goes around her waist and then she is wearing a hoodie which is really cute but i don't like the colors because it's really intense i wish this was done a little bit more neutrally um it is a bright neon pink hoodie with a um, seahorse and some bubbles on the front. The seahorse is obviously a skeleton. She has um, black print with a black cuff on the bottom of the sleeves and the jumper itself. It's kind of a crop jumper. And then if you put this over her head, the hoodie actually fits over her head because there's a bit of a hole in the back that you can pull her hair through. So I'm just going to grab her ponytail and pull it through. One second. I do want her like bangs to be out the front though. So let's... Yeah. 
I will be washing her hair. Um, not that it's bad or anything, but, like, I just would like it to be a little bit less, like, box hair frizzy and stuff. Um, I don't know if I want to give her straight hair or really curly hair. Um, there's no in-between for me. I just really feel like I either want to give her, like, big curly hair or, like, sleek straight hair. I haven't decided how I'm going to design her yet. If you have inspo or ideas, tag me on Instagram because I'm always down to see. I've been saving so many people's restyles of Gen 3 Monster High because I'm really excited to do my own restyles. I'm not going to be getting any of the other dolls in G3 so far that I've seen, um, but Laguna really resonated with me and I want to do restyles with one of them. And, you know, it's fun. So here's how she looks with her hood up. Um, it's honestly quite manageable to get it on. Um, the actual hood itself has, again, that mermaid scale print, and then it has these little fins out the top, which this, like, top is a, very much a throwback to her G1 top, which looks like this. Like, it's a throwback to this specific hoodie with the, like, mermaid scales and the sporty theme and the cuffing and the hoodie vibes with even the little fins on top. That's a direct inspiration for this one. So I like what they did, but I wish they kept the colours a little bit more, um, tailored to her or a little bit more selective because right now I just feel like there's a lot of colors going on. We've got pastels, we've got neons. It's a little bit too much for me. Um, and that's why I will be redressing her, but I couldn't pass up the doll because she is gorgeous. She's wearing these bike shorts that I would never wear. Um, they, in my opinion, are, are quite horrendous and I don't like them. They are tie dye, pastel, marble, rainbow, black biker shorts that are at a length that I don't like. I like my shorts to be like shorter, like that kind of length, like cutoffs. Oh my gosh, maybe I should like, no, because no, I like the shorts that she came wearing in her G1 doll more. Like those board shorts, I would actually wear those. These, I wouldn't wear these. These have an interesting um, fin design going down the side of each leg. And then we get into her um, fins, because I just want to show you that before I show you her foot fins. So on her arms, interesting her hand is not hard plastic it's a rubbery plastic you can see it's very easy for me to bend it's not the way that a normal g1 doll would be um her arm has a little bit of a texture on it it's like a little bit of a diamondy texture or like a fish scale pattern and then she has her fins on her arms on her legs she also has fins her legs the second half of it after the knee articulation they become a translucent blue plastic and the pink paint fades over the top of them so that it has this gradient effect. Now I believe that you can take out these fins and I can see through the leg, I don't know if you'll be able to see through the leg, but you can see that they're inserted in and I've seen other people take them out. Um, I'm not going to force them out, I can I can tell that they would come out, but you'd have to like get a good grip on it to like rip it out and I'm not going to do that today. She wears these kind of like platform sandals, they say monster on them. They have a fin on the sides and they're kind of a squishy material and the bottom is painted and has lots of little layers for details of the platform. Um, the actual front of the shoe has one strap across and then a little wiggly strap going up the side. I don't know if you can see, but that strap is wiggly. And I think it's supposed to represent seaweed. It's really cute. The bottom of the shoes have a basic stripy tread and this is what her foot looks like without the shoe on it. So she has a heeled foot. I'm not going to go through um, the restyling in this video. I just don't feel up to it. But her clothes both Velcro together in the back. And I will undress her to show you the articulation. Um, I know that some people don't like seeing like doll nudity online. Um, she's a piece of plastic. And so I'm not bothered by it. So I'm going to show it. But if you are going to be upset to see the doll naked um i would recommend you click out of the video now this is probably a good time to head um but yes i will be undressing her to show you guys what the oh my gosh i forgot about the articulation this is so good um i'll show you what the articulation looks like in a sec but i forgot about the chest joint which is new and exciting i don't think i have a single doll with a chest joint um interesting because apparently it can add a lot of life to poses um yeah seems cool oh her arm got stuck. Okay. The mesh of the sleeves got stuck on the, like, scales of the fin of her arms. Complicated. Anyway, her hair's a little frazzled, but... She's got very wide hips. I feel like she's definitely, like, a pear body shape. I'm not sure what all of the other body types are. I've looked at them online, but I'm not going to, like, go into a deep comparison. 
Um, it's a little bit difficult to get her pants over her feet. I mean, over her fins, but it's not impossible. It's definitely doable. So here's what she looks like in the nude so that you can see all the points of articulation. We have the regular head joint. And also I wanted to mention that this generation of Monster High G3 has zero glue. So that's stunning if you're like me and you hate glue. Yay, no glue. Next we have after the neck joint, we have the shoulder, which is the normal rotation of the shoulder. Then we have the elbow, which is the classic Monster High joint. And then we have at the wrist, which is... Again, just like the classic Monster Hydrate. Now, something else I wanted to show you was the way that the arms come off. It's a thicker arm peg. And then the hand is a thicker, oh my gosh, way thicker, a lot sturdier than G1. Just a lot sturdier of a um, joint construction there. I'm just going to pop that back in and then I'll show you the chest articulation. There we go. Um, so the chest articulation looks like this. Um, let's do a bit of a pivot. Oh yes, we have a bit of motion. That's as far forward. That's as far back. That's actually a really decent amount of motion. I'm going to put her back so that she has some good posture. She has molded underwear and they have, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. They have a spider web. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Um, she is the regular height or like the most average height, um, with Draculaura being a little bit shorter and Frankie being a little bit taller, Laguna is like the average height because I believe that Claudine and Cleo seem to be a similar height to her. Although um, I believe that Claudine might have slightly straighter of a body type and I think that Cleo has a slightly curvier body type, um, as in she has a slightly wider hips and slightly um, thinner waist. Don't quote me on any of this because obviously I do not have those dolls nude in front of me to do a body comparison. But if you would like to correct me in the comments, feel free. I am not going to be offended. Like, I want you guys to have the information. Um, but that's from the pictures that I've seen online. It seems to be that way. Um, she has the joint articulation that is not elastic at the hip. And it's quite nice and um, not loose because it's an OG issue. It would be loose limbs and then we have just the knee articulation a monster high classic that's all i want to share today i'm really like tired and um that's all i have to share for laguna i hope you enjoyed this video sorry if i was too low energy um but yeah i'm just going through it a bit and it was really nice to unbox laguna with you guys because even though i'm feeling like a little down this is such an amazing memory and it's like it's something exciting that i've been looking forward to in like a difficult time g was there for me Thanks for being there for me, Laguna. I was so stoked to see you when you came out of the back of the store in that box. Thanks to that really kind man who worked at Big W. Also, I just wanted to say one more thing. If you're living in Australia, she is $39 currently at Kmart and she is $47 currently at Big W. Now, I was lucky enough to get the Big W person to price match it to the Kmart price for me. So ask your big W person and they might do that for you. Also, one last thing, I am very aware that the pink on the top here is painted on to a translucent blue leg and I'm concerned that this will chip off eventually in time. I'm not going to scratch it. I'm like rubbing my nail against it, but I'm not like scratch scratch because I'm a little hesitant about that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Give me restyle ideas. Tag me in restyles on Instagram because I want to see what everyone else is doing with their Laguna. Bye.